scrolling on Facebook and a little ad popped up with a foundation and the ad just kind of, it got me. It made me buy the product. Here I am, I'm about to try it on camera. I haven't watched anybody review this before on YouTube. I know there's a couple of reviews, but I haven't really seen it from any of the big YouTubers. So I thought I'm gonna review it on my channel today. This is not sponsored. I literally saw the ad and I thought I'm gonna buy that and try it because it just looks a little bit too good to be true. So this is the foundation here. I don't actually know how to say it, like Fora or Fora. It's P-H-O-E-R-A, anyway. Um, it does say that it's made in China, so hopefully the ingredients aren't too bad for my skin. Not that that means they are, I don't know, I'm just like a little bit wary. <laughs> now normally the shade sand would be a yellow undertone, but I find this one looks quite pinky in person. We'll see how it goes on. It's likely it's not gonna match me. It's very hard to buy things online and match them 100%, so please, don't jump in the comments and say it doesn't match me. If it doesn't, I'm gonna try and make it work because I just wanna see how the foundation performs. It's not so much about it being my perfect shade. I just wanna see how it wears. All right, so it says, always shake bottle before use to activate. Pump foundation onto the back of your hand. Start with one pump for a medium coverage and build to a full coverage with a second pump if desired. Pick up the foundation with your brush, starting in the center of your face, working outwards, blend onto the skin. Using short downward strokes, blend well into the jawline and hairline to ensure an even appearance that looks like skin, not makeup. Up to a 24 hour matte finish without the flat. That makes no sense at all. Air light textured finish, hides imperfections for a smooth complexion. Oil free and silicon free formula gives you a flawless full coverage. Reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Available in various shades ranging from light to deep. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna give it a little shake and pop some of that on my hand. Now I like to apply my foundation with a beauty blender and I've already prepped my skin. So on my skin I've got my Dermalogica moisturizer and I've also got a Max Strobe Cream because I just don't like to feel super dry. I like my skin to be really hydrated. I'm just gonna pop one pump of this on my hand. Now the formula looks super thick to me, like it's not moving on my hand at all. All right, so I think I might do one side with a brush and one side with a beauty blender. So we'll go in, I might zoom you guys in so we can see exactly what is going on. Now, generally with my foundations, I prefer to use a beauty blender, but it says to use a brush. So for half of my face, I'll use a brush. The other side, I'll use a beauty blender and we'll see how it goes. Well, the color's not too bad. It does feel thick on my skin though. So a little bit of it definitely does go a long way. This is still just using one pump and I still have a little bit left on my hand. I'm actually really liking how that's looking on my skin. Like it's got a little bit of a shine coming through which is nice because my skin is so dry. It's definitely evened out my skin and sort of like covered my freckles a little bit. I can definitely still see my freckles shining through but that was only a very thin layer that I've applied. So I'm gonna go in and apply some on the other side. I actually really like how that's looking on my skin though. It's not like a super matte, dry looking foundation. It is really thick though, but once I blended it out, I feel like it doesn't feel so thick on my skin now. I actually do feel like it blends out nicely using a brush, which is weird because I don't use a brush for any of my foundations. That looks really patchy. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but compared to this side, this side definitely looks a lot more patchy, so I might have to just go in with the brush. The color's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It looks quite pink in the bottle, but it's blending in pretty well. So that's my whole face done with pretty much two pumps of foundation. I'm going to go in just a little bit and cover up my cheeks where I can still see my freckles shining through a little bit. It definitely does feel a bit heavier on my skin than foundations that I wear at the moment. Like the Estee Lauder Double Wear is my favorite at the moment because it's quite full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. I'm actually really surprised with how nice that looks on my skin. Around here, sometimes you can see my pores, but they don't look intense. Like they actually look quite covered up and not as noticeable as what they normally do. It's going to be really interesting to see how this wears throughout the day, but I really like it so far. All right, so I'm back, finished applying the rest of my makeup over the top of the foundation, and I 
freaking love it. Holy crap. Um, I just, I feel like I look like a walking face tune version of myself. It's that flawless. It looks amazing in person. A lot of the time I find foundations can get a little bit patchy around these areas on my face, around my nose, sometimes around here on my forehead. But it's sitting so beautifully all over my skin. I can't wait to see how it wears for the rest of the day. I didn't set my foundation either. I don't like to set my foundations lately. I did set under my eyes where I put the concealer with a little bit of Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. But that's pretty much it. And it looks so pretty. Like sometimes my pores can look quite intense through these areas as well. And they don't. It's kind of like almost filled everything in. Can't wait to see how it wears through the day. And I have to say, I 100% didn't expect it to be so nice. Make sure you guys let me know what you guys think of it. And if anybody's actually tried it before, let me know what your thoughts were. So I'm going to wear it through the rest of the day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to be able to do like an updated how it looks at the end of the day because I'll have Mace home this afternoon. But any of my thoughts, I will definitely be posting in the description box down below. So if it made me break out or anything like that, or if it started wearing off, I will let you guys know. But I absolutely love that so much. Honestly, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have so many more videos coming later in the week, so make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching and supporting me on my little YouTube journey. I will see you guys in my next video.